Have you ever heard of the word mathophobia? It means tension, fear, anxiety that you face when you study math. Our society has accepted the fact that math is not for most of us. But this is just a myth. Everyone is fully capable of learning numeracy content and skills. By the end of this video, you will be less stressed and motivated to learn math. Hi friends, welcome back to Math Simplified. Tip number one, stay calm. Anxiety and stress can ruin your focus and concentration. Tip number two, skim through the question papers of previous years and analyze them. You should spend your time wisely as your exams are approaching. So by analyzing the previous year's question papers, you will get a clarity about the questions that are asked consistently. And most importantly, you will be able to know the weightage of marks. Tip number three, fresh mind. Don't practice maths when you are tired. Practicing maths is like solving puzzles. You should choose the best time and it depends upon you because some prefer early in the morning, some during the afternoon and some in the late evening. So you should plan your day in such a manner that you are practicing math only when your mind is fresh and rested. Tip number four, note down the important points. When you finish learning a content or a chapter, make sure that you write down the important points by highlighting them. And after you have done that, you should stick it on your wall in your room. Trust me, this is an effective method because it helps you to recall information during exams. Tip number five, avoid frequent breaks. Remember that you have only less time for exams. So it will be ideal if you take nine to 10 minutes after every 45 minutes. Now I would suggest you some things that you can do during your break time. You can go for a mini walk, you can do some exercises, you can stretch yourself and get hydrated. And never use your mobile phones during breaks because it makes you less productive. Tip number six, don't touch the calculator. You will always have the tendency to use the calculator when you solve problems. But the more you practice the calculations, the faster you will get through it. Tip number seven, review your wrong answers. And this is an effective method because when you are able to correct your own paper, you will be able to learn a lot from your mistakes. And by this method, you will be able to boost your confidence. Tip number eight, get a good sleep. Don't stay up late night a day before the exam. Students who sleep better enjoy better grades and better recall. So a seven hours of sleep is a must a day before your exam. In mathematics, you will never run out of challenges to overcome. Isn't that wonderful? Remember, struggle makes you stronger. Now you have got some smart tricks to learn better. Hope you found the tricks useful. Stay tuned for more videos. Till then, bye and thanks for watching.